Glory to God. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for this day. Baba Mungu tunakushukuru kwa siku ya leo. Thank you for the gift of life. Asante kwa kipawa cha uzima. Thank you for the word that you have prepared for us this morning. Asante kwa neno ambalo umetuandalia asubuhi ya leo. Lord, I pray that none of us will leave this place. Bwana naomba kwamba hakuna yeyote kati yetu atakayetoka mahali hapa. Just the way we walked in. Jinsi tulivyoingia. Please Lord. Tafadhali Mungu. Make sure we live with something. Hakisha kwamba tumetoka na kitu angalau that will change our life kitakachobadilisha maisha yetu in the mighty name of jesus katika jina kula yesu in the mighty name of jesus katika jina kula yesu someone say amen mtu aseme amina so uh, this morning by god grace asubuhi ya leo kwa neema za mungu i'm gonna speak na uh, nitazungumzia on the manifestation uh, udhihirisho of the sons of god udhihirisho wa wana wa mungu Are the sons of God around here? Wana wa Mungu mko hapa tafadhali? Can you just manifest a little bit? Hebu tupungie mkono tukijidhihirisha. Can we clap for the Lord? Ehe, hebu tupigie Bwana makofi. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. What does manifestation mean? Udhihirisho unamaanisha nini? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, are the origins of manifestation are in religion and spirituality kini cha udhihirisho uko katika hali ya dini na hali ya vitu vya kiroho because if something spiritual becomes real kwa maana kitu cha kiroho kikieza kuwa kweli it is said to be a manifestation inasemekana kwamba ni dhihirisho haleluya amen so this is a definition according to vocabulary.com Eh hey, hii ni akielezo ni kielezo uh, kulingana na vocabulary.com ama msamiati.com nikisema kwa Kiswahili. So they believe that when something spiritual becomes real. Kule kuamini kwamba kitu cha kiroho kina, kinaonekana uh, wazi that is a manifestation. Hiyo ni dhihirisho. Now remember kumbuka we are all spirit sote tuko katika hali ya kiroho having a soul tukiwa na nafsi living in a body ikiwa inaishi ndani ya mwili Now, every time kwa hivyo kila wakati that the spirit of god in your spirit wakati roho wa mungu ndani ya roho wako manifest or becomes real inapojidhihirisha ama inaonekana peupe if the presence of the holy spirit in your spirit seems to be just a theory na kwamba uwepo wa roho mtakatifu ndani ya roho wako inaonekana ni kama kwamba kitu tu cha kusema na sio kwa kitendo there is no doubt that the holy spirit is in you Haina uh, uh, sio jambo ambalo linatashwishia kwamba Roho Mtakatifu yuko ndani yako. From the time that our two brethren here have given their life to Christ, kutoka ule wakati hao wapendwa wawili wamepeana maisha yao kwa Kristo, the Holy Spirit came in them. Roho Mtakatifu aliingia ndani yao and their salvation is sealed. Na uokovu wao umefunikwa tayari in their spirit. Ndani ya Uh, roho zao they are completely saved wameokoka kikamilifu haleluya amen but from today on lakini kuanzia leo kuendelea mbele the process of the salvation of their soul has started kwa kwamba ile safari ya wokovu ya nafsi zao imeanza and this message of this morning na ujumbe wa asubuhi ya leo is gonna bring a little contribution itaweza kuchangia kiasi into their search kwa katika kutafuta kwao and the requirement na of working out the salvation of their soul Ehe, na mahitaji yao ya kuweza kufanya kazi uh, kuendeleza wokovu wa nafsi zao. Now, we are still in vocabulary.com, si ndio? Eh, tungali katika vocabulary.com. So, according to vocabulary.com, kulingana na msamiati.com, if our two brethren, kama hawapendwa wetu wawili, allows wanamruhusu whatever is in their spirit kile kilichoko ndani ya uh, roho zao, transcend their soul and their body weza kumiliki ama kutawala nafsi zao na miili yao so they will fulfill 
today's topic which is the manifestation wao watatimiza anwani ya leo ambaye ni kudhihirika of the sons of god kwa wana wa mungu are we together tuko pamoja are we together tuko pamoja glory to god utukufu kwa mungu they also said it is a manifest indication of the existence or presence or nature of some person or thing ehe na inaendelea kusema kwamba pia ni kielelezo ama hali ya kuweza kuonekana kwa kitu fulani ama mtu fulani now according to watermark.org ehe kulingana na watermark.org manifestation is the idea that you can bring a positive outcome He, udhihirisho ni ile wazo ya kwamba unaweza ukatoa matoleo ambayo ni ya kuendeleza into your life ndani ya maisha yako by simply claiming it kwa, 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 kwa kudai tu jambo hilo as your own kama nafasi yako and believing na kuweza kuamini it will happen kwamba itatendeka someone say amen mtu aseme amina so what does it tell us je inatuambia nini the first thing that came in my mind is this kitu cha kwanza kilichokuja katika dhamira yangu ni hiki there will be no manifestation unless someone takes action hakutakuwa na udhihirisho pasipo mtu kuchukua hatua number 2 jambo la pili manifestation of divine the manifestation of the our divine nature udhihirisho wa hali yetu ya kitaua ama ya kiungu is our responsibility not god's ni jukumu letu bali sio la mungu are we together tuko pamoja am i making sense yes. amen now they are adding one thing wanaongeza kitu kimoja we need to claim it tunapaswa kudai jambo hilo you can only claim something when you believe you have the right to ehe unaweza ukadai kitu tu kama unajua una haki juu ya kitu kile claiming is not demanding or begging ehe ile kudai sio ku, 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 kuomba ama ku, kuuliza kwa lazima ama kuomba when you claim you give no option wakati unadai haupeani hali wazo lingine haleluya amen there is no 50 50 there is no plan b ah, ah si ati kwamba ni asilimia upande moja asilia hamsini upande moja either you are son of god mhm either either you are not eh hey, ni wewe kwamba wewe ni mwana Now, wa mungu really ama wewe si mwana wa son of god kama wewe hakika ni mwana wa you mungu you have to manifest it lazima udhihirishe Now before you can want to claim something kabla uweze kudai kitu you need a certain level of awareness unapaswa kuwa na kiwango fulani cha ufahamu do you know your identity unajua utakitambulisho chako do we chako? know who we are je tunajua sisi ni akina nani if we really knew kama tungelijua why is it ni kwa nini that god is coming kwamba mungu anakuja to tell us kutuambia that i have said kwamba nimesema that you are god kwamba nyinyi ni miungu you are sons of the most high god nyinyi ni wana wa mungu aliye juu zaidi let me now, now paraphrase but look at you now eh hey, wacha niseme kwa ufupi hebu jitizame there is no difference between you and simple humans hakuna tofauti kati yako na wanadamu wa kawaida as if inside the body that you are you, 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 you are hiding in ni kwamba ndani ya ule mwili ambao uko ndani yake as if there is no spirit in it ni kana kwamba hakuna roho ndani ya ule mwili your spirit is not just any other spirit na roho sio roho mwingine yoyote yule before god made us kabla mungu atuumbe he took time to take himself to a x-ray scanner yeye alichukua muda akaweza kujipeleka kwa chombo x-ray ili kwamba aweze kujielewa so that by the time he was making us ili kwamba wakati alikuwa anatuumba he wanted to be sure that we were made according to his own image alikuwa anakisha kwamba tumejengwa kwa mfano wake na as per the print 
doubt that came from that scanner. Hey, kutokana na matokeo ya ile X-ray. And it was a serious a serious work. Na ilikuwa ni kazi to ya the umuhimu extent mkubwa. that there was need for a team work in heaven. That's why he said let us make ili kwamba ilibidi iwe ni kazi ya kikundi kule mbinguni so akasema wacha na tuombe na kwa hivyo baba mwana na roho mtakatifu wakakuja pamoja kama kitu kimoja and the product is you na matokeo ni wewe look at your neighbor tell me you are joking eh hey, angalia jirani yako ambia wewe unamzaha mwingi you are joking mwambie unamzaha mwingi sana seriously samahani hallelujah amen And hapa we are just in dictionaries eh? Eh, hapa tungali tuka katika We are not yet in the Bible. Eh? Si ndio? Eh, hatujaengea kwa Biblia Have bado. Have you opened the Bible yet? Hatujafungua hatu Biblia bado eh? Okay. Someone say amen. Amen. Now. Manifestation might must be claimed. Udhihirisho lazima udaiwe. And it comes together with faith because here but they say it let me just repeat the whole thing according to watermark.org thank you for uh, that correction manifestation is the idea that you can bring a positive outcome into your life by simply claiming it as your own and believing it will happen So if it's about claiming and believing na kwa hivyo kama ni kudai na kuamini that manifestation is a faith in work business eh kwa hivyo udhi in action Ehe. business kwa hivyo udhihirisho ni hali ya imani katika hali ya matendo hallelujah amen today is not the day for faith topic Uh-huh. Leo sio siku ya ku, uh, kuzungumzia imani. So now uh, I don't want you to feel intimidated. Hastaki muhisi ni kana kwamba mmegandamizwa. But we are just going to do some deep research in Greek. Lakini tutafanya utafiti wa kindani. Worry, it is a dead language even in Greece they speak English. Si ndio? Eh, eh katika yeah. lugha ya Kiyunani, lugha ya Kiyunani ni lugha ambayo haiko tena manake hata ukienda Ugiriki hivi sasa wanazungumza Kiingereza. If you hear something that sounds strange don't mind. Ukisikia kitu ambacho ni geni kwako usiwe na wasiwasi tafadhali. Someone say amen. Hebu nisikie hiyo amina. So the word manifestation from the Bible neno hili udhihirisho kutoka kwa Biblia came from three different roots ilitokana in Greek ilitokana na mizizi tatu tofauti so, katika lugha ya Kiunani words and three different meanings maneno tatu tofauti maana tatu tofauti the translators translated the, those word as manifestation for a better understanding for some of us eh hey, watu wao wakaweza kufanya ukalimani juu ya neno hili ili kwamba tuweze kuelewa vizuri the first one is fanero eh hey, hey. Ya kwanza ni neno hilo faneo which means to make apparent or to reveal eh hey, ambaye inasema kufanya katika hali ya kufananisha au kutambulisha say after me to reveal to reveal sema kuweza kutambulisha now let's go in the bible si ndio haya tuingie kwenye biblia sasa let's open our bible in the book of john chapter 17 verse 6 tufungue kitabu cha kitabu cha Yohana mlango wa 17 aya yake ya 6 the bible says i have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me you have given me out of the world they were your, yours and you gave them to me mm-hmm. and i have kept your word mm-hmm. someone say amen amen so here jesus is saying i have manifested your name to ha- the people you have given me hapa yesu anasema nimedhihirisha neno lako kwa wale watu ambao umenipatia other version speak, speaks about i have revealed your name or i have shown your name to these people na kala zingine zinasema nime uh, uh, nimedhihirisha neno lako kwa hawa watu ama nimeonyesha neno lako kwa watu hawa 
So the key element here basi jambo lakini hapa ni hiki is revelation say after me revelation ni ufunuo sema baada yangu ufunuo amen before we can be able to be the answer to the problem of the creation and the humanity kabla tuwe suluhisho kwa uumbaji na wanadamu you know the world the universe all creation they are suffering they are longing they are wait for the manifestation mhm ulimwengu wote watu wanapitia matesi na hali ngumu wanangojea kudhihirishwa kwa wana wa Mungu so i guess the other creation or creatures of god na natafakari ya kwamba viumbe vingine uh, vya Mungu came together to discuss their own issues vilikuja pamoja ili kwamba viweze kusemezana juu ya hali zao the animals the, the, the birds in the air the fish in the water the sun the moon the universe the planet the water the nature all, all of them hey, uh, wanyama wa porini eh, eh, samaki majini ndege wa angani na wanyama aina ama uh, viumbe mbalimbali vyote vikakuja pamoja understand vilipaswa kuelewa what happened to them ni nini kilichowatendekea from the time that man was kicked out of the garden of eden kutoka ule wakati ambapo mwanadamu aliweza kutupwa nje ya shamba la eden something changed kuna kitu kilichobadilika hallelujah Amen. Now they needed to understand what could be a possible a possible or a potential solution to the condition that they found themselves in without being the cause. Eh eh walikuwa wanataka wapate suluhu ya ile hali walijipata ndani yake ili hali sio wao walisababisha hali hiyo. Hallelujah. Amen. I am sure nina hakika even the waters and the flooding that have killed so many people in this country and all over the world hata maji na ukame ambao umeua watu wengi katika taifa hili na kote ulimwenguni even water himself is wandering hata maji yenyewe inashangaa how come that the ones who have been made slightly inferior to god and above every other creation and mm-hmm. above angels mm-hmm. and angels are just simple spirit sent to be at their service mm-hmm. how come i'm killing them this is abnormal mm-hmm. hata maji yanashangaa itakuwaje hawa watu ambao wamepewa kiwango cha kuwa chini tu kidogo ya mungu hata malaika wanakuja kuwatumikia itakuwaje kwamba mimi kama maji naangamiza hata watu wale hallelujah amen now after that meeting baada ya mkutano huo they came with one point walikuja na dokezi moja the solution is only one suluhisho ni kitu kimoja the sons of god wana wa Mungu must manifest lazima wadhihirike when they they, they, the divine nature in human in mankind will manifest wakati ile hali ya kitaua hali ya kiungu ndani yako itadhihirika according to the nature and other creatures that will be their salvation ehe kulingana na viumbe vingine na hali ya kiasili huo ndio wokovu wao Touch yourself and say I am not just anyone. Hebu jipapase kwenye kifua na useme mimi tu sio mtu wa kawaida. In me. The Holy Spirit lives in me. Roho mtakatifu anaishi ndani yangu. Do you know why the status is one of the most powerful place in this country? Unajua ni kwa nini ikulu ni sehemu yenye nguvu zaidi katika taifa hili? It is because the most powerful man of this country lives there or works there. I don't know if he lives or if it's just office whatever. Eh, uh-huh. both. Eh? Lives there. <laughs> eh, ni kwa sababu yule mtu mwenye uwezo mkubwa katika taifa letu la Kenya anaishi na kufanya kazi mahali pale. Now, let me ask you. Wacha niwaulize. If the most powerful spirit kama ule roho mwenye nguvu kabisa, the Holy Spirit lives in you. Roho mtakatifu anaishi ndani yako. And the Bible reminds us. Na Biblia inatukumbusha. Don't you know that your body is the temple 
Mm-hmm. Haujui kwamba mwili wako ni hekalu of the Holy Spirit. Ya Roho Mtakatifu. Are you just anyone? Je, that wewe any ni... sorcerer, any demon, any curse can play around with Je, any we... family claiming bondages and all that. Mhm. Je, wewe ni mtu wa kawaida yule ambaye pepo yoyote ile laana zozote zile watu wote wa familia ile wanaweza kuja na kuletea shida ya hapa na pale are you realizing that there is a, a, a freedom entering your life je unatambua kwamba kuna the bible u... says you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free he je unatambua kwamba kuna uhuru ambao unaingia katika maisha yako jinsi biblia inavyosema utaujua ukweli na ukweli utakuweka huru Let's take a break. Let's stand and break free completely from those small small jokes. Uh-huh. Since our awareness has increased uh-huh. and then we continue with the message. Sindio? Hebu tuchukue nafasi tuweze kusimama tafadhali tuweze kujifungua kutokana na ufungwa huu wote na hali hizi zote ambazo zinatufanya nikana kwamba tumekwama. See after me Jesus. Jesus this morning. This morning I have realized. I have realized that i am not just anyone i am not just anyone i am a spirit i am a spirit made according to the image and the likeness of god made according to the image and likeness of god living in a body and having a soul from now on kutoka sasa i declare and i decree ninatangaza na nazungumzia only the perfect will of god shall happen in my life mapenzi kabilifu ya Mungu nitatendeka maishani mwangu I cancel ninafuta any ongoing kila kazi and future plan na mipango ya siku za usoni of the enemy ya adui against my life kinyume cha maisha yangu against my body kinyume cha mwili wangu against my soul kinyume cha nafsi yangu against everything i do kinyume ya kila kitu ninachokifanya everything i have na kila kitu nilicho nacho including my family ikijumuisha jamii yangu i stop it now na isimamisha sasa in jesus name katika jina la yesu it's not about shouting you know authority sometimes you don't have to shout it's not uh-huh. about emotion like uh, mm-hmm. when you know you know mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe you know. Amen. And something has happened. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Kwa hivyo sio jambo ya kihisia tu, at lazima tupaze sauti na tupige makelele kama unajua unajua. A revelation is when you get an understanding about something from let's just say from the, the spirit of God. Uh-huh. Ufunuo ni ule wakati unapata kuelewa juu ya jambo fulani kutokana na roho mtakatifu wa Mungu. You can understand some things according to knowledge, according to science, according to what you can see, mm-hmm. touch. But when now the understanding does not come from anything to do with flesh and blood, mm-hmm. that is revelation. Uh-huh. Unaweza ukapata ufahamu kutoka kwa kusoma, kutoka kwa kugusa, kutoka kwa kufanya vitu hapa na pale, kutoka na ujuzi uh, kwa labda wa uh, wa sayansi na uh, vitengo vingine vya usomi, lakini unapopata ufunuo kwa kitu ambacho hawezi ukalinganisha na mwanadamu ama jambo lingine lolote, basi unajua kwamba inatoka kwa Mungu, huo ndio ufunuo. Did I say all that? Yes in English. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, <clears throat> mm-hmm. how can we reveal to the creation mm-hmm. that we are the sons of God? Na basi je, tutawezaje kuweza kuwajulisha viumbe vyote kwamba sisi ni wana wa Mungu. It mean we must first know mm-hmm. who God is. Inamaanisha lazima kwanza tujue Mungu ni nani. And Jesus said, Yesu akasema, no one knows the Father. Hakuna anayemjua Baba unless the Son pasipo mwana unless the son pasipo mwana reveals amfunulie the, the, the father to that person ehe baba kwa mtu huyo 
And be careful. Here Jesus is talking to who? The to the Jewish people. Uh -huh. The religious people people, uh -huh. the descendant of Abraham, mm. those who were carried out of Egypt by Moses, telling them that the God of Abraham, mm. Isaac and Jacob mm. if you don't know the God of that don't just say it for saying mm. he must reveal himself to you too basi hapa tuwe wangalifu, yesu anazungumzia kinanani anazungumzia viongozi wa kidini wa uh, wayahudi watu ambao walikuwa nasema ni wana wa Ibrahimu Isaka na Yakobo kwa hivyo tunapaswa kuwa wangalifu tunapokuja na kuzungumza juu ya Mungu lazima tuwe tumefika kiwango ambacho Mungu mwenyewe amejifunua katika maisha yetu amen. amen there is no revelation without encounter hakuna hali ya ufunuo pasipo kupatanishwa there was an encounter kulikuwa na upatanisho the day god revealed himself to abraham siku ile mungu alijifunua kwake ibrahimu abraham taught isaac about god but he did not reveal god to isaac aha ibrahimu alimfundisha yakobo kumhusu mungu lakini hakumfunulia yakobo no knowledge is not revelation ehe ufahamu sio ufunuo there was a time that God revealed himself Mungu to Isaac introducing himself as the God of Abraham and from that time on God became also the God of Isaac Ehe kuna wakati Mungu akajifunua kwake Isaka akajijulisha kama Mungu wa Ibrahimu na unaona kwamba baada ya kujua hivyo na uh, Isaka naye akajua pia akafanyika aka kuwa samani Isaka naye pia akasema Mungu pia ni Mungu wa Isaka Lift your hand and say Lord Mwa mkono wako sema Bwana reveal yourself to me jifunue kwako kwangu reveal yourself to me jifunue kwangu reveal yourself to me jifunue kwangu in jesus name katika jina la Yesu in jesus name katika jina la Yesu someone say amen amen now the second greek word jambo la pili la kiunani is phaneros inatamkwa phaneos which mean to make manifest or to make evident aha ambayo inamaanisha kwamba kuweza kudhihirisha ama kuweza kuwa na ushahidi wa kutosha when something is made evident there is no more doubt ehe wakati kitu kinawekwa peupe waziwazi hakuna shauku yoyote ile The Bible says those of the people who shall know their God shall act firmly. Eh, Biblia inasema wale watakaomjua Mungu wao wataenenda kwa uhakika. They don't doubt. Hawana shauku yoyote ile. Someone say amen. Mtu aseme amina. Let us open the Bible. Tufungue Biblia. In the book of Acts. Eh kitabu cha matendo ya mitume chapter 4 verse 16 mlango wake wa 4 aya ya 16 the bible says biblia inasema saying what shall we do to these men mm -hmm. for indeed that a notable miracle has been done through them is evident to all who dwell in jerusalem and we cannot deny it mm -hmm. wakisema tuwafanyie nini watu hawa maana ni dhahiri kwa watu wote wakaao Yerusalemu ya kwamba ishara mashuhuri imefanyika nao wala hatuwezi kuikana Peter and James were going to the temple Petro na Yakobo wakawa wanaenda hekaluni and they found a lame man na wakapata mtu ambaye alikuwa mlemavu beautiful door akiwa ameketi katika ile lango la kupendeza Eh katika ile hekalu la kupendeza. And they said to that man, wakaambia yule mtu, gold and silver we don't have. Eh fedha wala dhahabu hatuna. Say after me, gold and silver we don't have. Gold and silver we don't have. But what we have, lakini kile tulichonacho, we are giving you. Tunakupatia. Receive it in Jesus name. Pokea katika jina la Yesu. Do you know what it mean? Unamaanisha unajua ina maana nini? Whatever made that man walk did not come from heaven but from them. Eh eh. 
kile kilichofanya huyu mtu kutembea hakitoka juu mbinguni kilitoka ndani ya kina Petro na Yohana na Yakobo. You know, Kenya says if you know you know. Eh, hey, wakenya wanasema kama unajua unajua. You know you know. Kama unajua unajua. We must know who we are. Lazima tujue sisi ni akina nani. Hey, if the Holy Spirit dwells in me. Kama Roho Mtakatifu anadumu ndani yangu. Sometimes I don't have to look up to heaven too much. Eh, hey, saa zingine sitaki kutazama juu mbinguni sana. I live according to the standard of heaven. Ninaishi kulingana na kiwango cha mbinguni. I am representing heaven. Ninawakilisha mbinguni. I have the heavenly nature. Nina hali ya kimbinguni. So if you are kibinguni. looking too much to heaven and crying too much it means you are far from God. Eh, hey, wakati mwingine ukitazama mbinguni sana kumlia juu mbinguni sana ina manisha uenda uko mbali na Mungu. Do you know that the president is bigger than the state house? Je, unajua rais ni mkubwa kuliko ikulu? If I'm with Mr. President, do hey. I have to run to his office? Eh, hey. nikiwa na rais pamoja, je, itabidi nikimbie mpaka afisini mwake tena? La so hasha. now the Holy Spirit is in you. Roho mtakatifu yuko ndani yako. Why are you looking? What are you looking up there? <laughs> Ni nini unatafuta kule juu? The one who went up said, Yule alienda juu alisema, It is done. Imetendeka. It is finished. Imemalizika. Since it finished, it is advantage for you that I may go so that another one. Mm-hmm. Uh, eh? Kwa sababu jambo hili limekamilika, basi inabidi mimi niweze kuenda ili kwamba mwingine now that other one that was to be sent wile mwingine ambaye alikuwa atumwe is fully in you sealed no one can take him away yuko ndani yako no one can change the title deed of his temple you know there is no building without land and mm. there is no land without ownership sindio mm. now if we are the temple of the holy spirit mm. it means there is a ground mm. There is a legal base mm. and there is title and that title deed of the Holy Spirit can never be removed or changed or transfer. The only thing you can do is just to what does the Bible say? Do not what? Do not grieve mm-hmm. the spirit, but you cannot kick the spirit out. Mm. Hey. I tell you. Haya, basi neno la Mungu linatuambia kwamba <laughs> eh neno la Mungu linatuambia kwamba hauwezi ukawa ama samahani wote nianzie hapa sema kwamba roho mtakatifu yuko ndani yetu na amezibu amefungwa kikamilifu ndani yetu. Na kwa hivyo roho mtakatifu anacheti miliki cha miili yetu ambayo ni hekalu ya a, 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 ya roho mtakatifu. Kwa hivyo tunapoendelea unaona ya kwamba la Lazima tuenende tukijua ya kwamba tuna uh, haki ya kisheria ya kuweza kuwa wamiliki ama roho mtakatifu kuwa ndani yetu. Someone say amen. Amen. Now listen. Let me Skizeni. just open a bracket. The Bible says. Bibili nasema. Here we are just talking about the fact of being a son of God. Sindio? Hapa tunazungumzia juu ya kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Siku now, kitungine. If apart from being a son of God now you decide to serve God. Ehe. Uh, bali na kuwa mwana wa Mungu unaamua kufanya nini kumtumikia Mungu Now when we are in God service wakati tuko katika utu, kutumikia Mungu The Bible says Mungu, you shall asema, serve the Lord your God and he shall bless what He mm. shall bless your bread, bread. and your water mm-hmm. So if you are a son of God mm-hmm. and you are in God service mm-hmm. you cannot lack bread on your own God will not have to give you bread. He will just come and see the one that you already have and then he blesses it. Amen. Now Amen. it's not all wait. You will clap later. Just keep that one for later. <laughs> Now, the Bible says, he will take diseases away from you. And in your land there will be what? Plenty. No abortion and no what? Miscarriage and no barrenness. You know what it mean? I live in Kamba land. Mm. Kamba people? Mm. Yes. Kamba my brother. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you are a son of God mm-hmm. and you are serving God mm-hmm. by the fact that you are a Kamba. Mm-hmm. Now, in your Kamba land where you came from, everyone living in Kamba land, your 
the grace of God and the authority and the mantle in you will give you a perimeter of control which will give you you, you are going to replace the territorial spirit of Cumberland and you are going to be the next territorial authority and in Cumberland there will be no barrenness no just because of your presence in that land, Amen. I pray Amen. and I declare, your house is blessed. Amen. Your house is blessed. Amen. No more calamities Amen. where you are, in your neighborhood, Amen. because of your presence, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Can we clap for Jesus? Now, here the word manifestation Neno hili kudhihirika means evidence. Inamaanisha kuwa na ushahidi. And when we talk about evidence it means there is no shadow of doubt. Tunapozungumzia juu ya kuwa na ushahidi hakuna shauku yoyote ile. Now, the people who killed Jesus. Wale watu waliomuua Yesu who killed John the Baptist? Waliomua Yohana Mbatizaji. And who started persecuting the church? Ambao walianza kupayana matesi kwa kanisa. They were not happy by the fact that a miracle took place on a Shabbat day. Eh, hey, hawakufurahia kwa sababu kuna muujiza ambao ulitendeka siku they ya Sabato. They found someone carrying their bed and walking around and dancing like our brothers here and this kamba man here. <laughs> he, he did break dance <laughs> for Jesus. Someone say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now they were not happy. And now they, look, they were trying to find a way to do away with them, to kill them, to punish them, to silence them. Now in their meeting, they were just like, ah, Bwana, let's be realistic. In as much as we don't, we want to silence them, mm. there is evidence that a miracle took place. And Amen. everybody saw it Amen. was evident to them that Amen. this is the thing of God. At a way, at a mimi, at a us, we cannot deny it. Eh, eh. Na katika ule mkutano wao, walikuwa nasema, ah, tuseme tu ukweli. Eh, kuna jambo ambalo lilitendeka. Na lilo jambo ni muujiza. Na hakuna vile ambavyo tuneza tukakana kwa mba jambo hili lilitendeka. This is the dimension where even so Sarah, even mm -hmm. demons will acknowledge that there is something in you that is uncommon. Eh, eh. Hichi ni kiwango ambacho ata washirikina, ata mapepo yataweza kutambua kwamba kuna kitu cha kipekee ndani yako. This is the dimension where the, the, the magician and uh, those people around Pharaoh they mm. just went back to him and said this is the finger of God. We can try mimicking other things, mm -hmm. but at this level we can't. We mm. can't. This is the finger of God. Aha, na ikafika mahali ambapo zile nyakati za farao wale eh, eh, washirikina wakawacha nitumie neno hilo walifika mahali wakasema a ah, a ah, huu ama hiki ni kidole cha Mungu hakuna mwingine yeyote ambaye anaweza kafanya jambo kama hili. So the, the dimension of evidence or miracle Ehe, kiwango cha ushahidi ama muujiza is that dimension where the sons of God are placed as authority and chief of the sorcerers. Ehe, ni mahali ambapo wana wa Mungu wanaekwa kiwango cha juu kuliko washirikina na wale ambao wanawasimamia washirikina hao. Imagine the king in of Babylon Eh, tafakari mfalme wa Babiloni. All the magician, all the wise men, all the astrologists. Mm -hmm. Akafuata wale washirikina, wale wenye hekima na wale ambao walikuwa wanatabiri mambo ya nyota. Brother, come again. Ndugu yangu karibu and tena. He, he all of them. Na anawaita and wote. Said from now on. Anasema kuanzia sasa. Your boss is Daniel. Eh, eh, mkubwa wenu ni Daniel. And I declare. Na naomba na natangaza. Katika kijiji chenu. In your lineage. Katika ukoo wenu. In your bloodline. Katika 
you are the authority number one above, above the sorcerers above those who have authority in the mighty name of Jesus let the, 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 the sonship nature of God in you be manifest this morning amen someone say amen hallelujah amen no, this is where even your enemies, they don't like you, but they have to admit <laughs> that they cannot <laughs> overcome you. Hey, they don't like you, but they have to admit hey, But what is in you is greater. Mm -hmm. What is in you is special. Amen. Amen. Someone say amen. Amen. Now, this is where manifestation mm -hmm. reaches the dimension of miracle and evidence. Uh -huh. You see fake miracle. Miracle, you know, there are miracles that are happening that people are just like, mm, this one, we know them. Mm -hmm. We know this man, Shakaola thing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But there is a di dimension where everyone agrees. ambacho kuna ushahidi wa ule muujiza ambao umetendeka hatuzungumzi juu ya miujiza gushi kama mambo tunayosikia kule shakahola na sehemu zingine zozote zile hizi ni ama hiki ni kiwango ambacho kinachotendeka kuna ushahidi ambao hakuna yeyote yule anaweza akapinga au kuwa na shaka juu ya ni ushahidi huo Someone say amen. Amen. Manifestation meaning number one, revelation. Mm -hmm. Meaning number two, huh? evidence. evidence or miracle. Someone say amen. Uh, 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 jambo la kwanza, ufunuo. Jambo la pili, ushahidi ambao hawezi, uh, mtu haezi ya kakana. Someone say amen. Amen. You know, Najua? <coughs> John the Baptist Mbatizaji, met Jesus from the womb. Alikutana na Christo, when Elizabeth and Mary met, eh, eh, he reacted. Eh, and tuga. that happened in his spirit, mm -hmm. but not in his flesh. Mm. Someone say amen. So growing up, mm -hmm. he just knew Jesus like a normal person. Mm -hmm. Now, when he received his calling mm -hmm. and understood that his job was to prepare the place, the way for the Messiah, mm -hmm. he needed a revelation mm -hmm. of the manifestation of the real son of God. Mm -hmm. Someone say amen. Amen. Let us open my, uh, our Bible. John chapter 1 32 34 Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. And I myself did not know him. He knew him as a cousin, mm -hmm. but he did not know him as the son of God. Mm -hmm. Someone say amen. amen. But the one who sent me to baptize. Now, God told him, if you want to discover who is my son, you go baptize. Start baptizing people. And while you will you'll keep yourself busy doing that mission, one day, day someone will come and if you see the spirit not only coming down but remain on him that is the son of god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. kwamba Yohana alikuwa anamjua Yesu tu kama mpwa wake ama ni binamu ama ni mpwa haya cousin eh lakini unaona kwamba ilifika wakati Yohana akaambiwa hapo jimbe soma aya 33 anasema hakuwa anamjua Yesu lakini ilifika wakati akaambiwa enenda ubatize na wakati utakapobatiza yule utakaye batiza na roho mtakatifu aje juu yake na adumu juu yake basi huyo amedhihirika kama mwana wa Mungu. Someone say amen. Amen. Now, when the revelation you receive from God becomes so 
evident. Mm -hmm. You will become a miracle maker. Mm -hmm. Someone say amen. Amen. Now, Jesus, mm -hmm. one day, by the way, I, I, I mixed up something. Mm -hmm. Peter and James, they prayed for the beggar, mm -hmm. the crippled man who stood. Mm -hmm. But now, the one who carried the bed, mm -hmm. that was Jesus' miracle. Mm -hmm. on, still on a Shabbat day, someone say amen. amen. Now, when that man started now jumping, he was asked, what are you doing? It is Shabbat. Why are you violating, violating the commandment of God? Mm -hmm. He said, it is not me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Me, I was a cripple. Mm -hmm. But the one who made me stand mm -hmm. also gave me instruction mm -hmm. to carry my bed. Amen. So if you want to blame someone mm -hmm. for viol violating the law, <laughs> the Sabbath, go God. look for the one who made me walk, Amen. which the law couldn't. Mm -hmm. And that's the one who gave me this command. Hallelujah. Now, when they went to Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus told them, my father is working mm -hmm. and I am also working. And what was Jesus doing? He was just seeing the work that God was still mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now, when you enter in that dimension, mm -hmm. you shall continue receiving revelation, mm -hmm. seeing the work of God in mm -hmm. your spirit, mm -hmm. and you will be simply repeating. Mm -hmm. You feel a prompt in your heart to pray for someone, you do it and something happens. People ask you, how do you do that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have seen someone doing it. Mm -hmm. That is why. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And our Big brother, Jesus, the real son of God who adopted us, who paid the price for us to be accepted, adop adopted, and who redeemed us. Mm -hmm. And he's not ashamed to call us his brothers because we are also sons together with him. And Amen. we are co-heir with him. Mm -hmm. He said, if you simply believe in me, you shall do the same work I am doing mm -hmm. and you shall do more than that. Great. What does it mean? Now, when you know your nature as a son of God, mm -hmm. when you have faith in Christ, mm -hmm. the standard level, the lowest level where you start operating in, in the supernatural mm -hmm. is the level of Jesus. Amen. Not lower than Jesus. Amen. You start from Jesus' level uh -huh. and then you go up. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I really hope that you carry a fire in your house. <laughs> and whatever situation happening there, even the people behind it shall acknowledge that there is something different in you. And there is something superior in you. And they will give up. In Jesus' mighty name. When the divine means meet or, inter or interfere with the natural affairs mm -hmm. miracle takes place. Uh -huh. What are some of those natural affairs happening in your head, mm -hmm. in your pocket, in your bank account? Mm -hmm. What are those natural affairs that mm -hmm. are that are pressing your life, distressing you, making you suffer, making you murmuring every day? What are those some, some of those affairs? Mm -hmm. Let the divine nature of Christ in you mm -hmm. Meet them. Amen. Meet them. Amen. And miracle will happen. Amen. Miracle will happen. Amen. Miracle will happen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, the last word is Apocalypse. Apocalypsis. Uh -huh. Apocalypsis. Which means apocalypsis. Apocalypsis. I say don't mean those words. Don't, don't even bother. Just take the meaning. Mm -hmm. You remember on the first year, we are told, order up, order mm. down, and then yeah. something. <laughs> we don't know what it is. We don't care. And we are there, all of us, uh, like this, like uh, children. Uh, so don't bother whatever I'm saying. Mm. You just get the meaning. Hey, Someone say amen. Lewi, amen. Eh, tare moja tulikuwa na kikao hapa kuna maagizo tulikuwa tunapatiwa hata tuelewi eh oda ya juu oda ya chini na tulikuwa tunafanya hivi vidole lakini tulikuwa tunafuatilia tu maagizo that's why i said don't feel intimidated ndipo sana sema usihisi unagandamizwa by the way i'm not going to repeat that word i'm just giving the the meaning eh starudia neno hilo napeana tu maana yake the meaning is manifestation 
in the sense of uncovering. Manake ni udhihirisho kwa njia ya kufunua. Say after me uncovering. Sema nyuma yangu kufunua. Romans chapter 8. Waru Warumi mlango wa 18 to 21. Ah kuanzia aya 18 hadi ya 21. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Mm -hmm. Revealed in us. Mm -hmm. That means coming out of you. Mm -hmm. From you, mm -hmm. there is a revelation that will be made public as a manifestation mm -hmm. and all the sufferings that you are going through, wherever it's coming from, you will laugh at them because there will, there will be no point of comparison between the situation you are in. I want to tell someone, don't worry about your current situation. The Bible said there is hope for your future. Someone say, Amen. Amen. Let's continue the, the reading. For the Honest expectation of the creation. Mm. Eagerly wait for the revealing. Other version says the manifestation mm. of the sons of God. Mm. For the creation was subjected futilely, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope. Who is that one? Satan. Say after me, Satan. Satan. Because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption. Here corruption is decay. It's not corruption, ya kanyaka, ya pesa. It is death. Say after me, death. Death. Hallelujah. Amen. Into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, here the word revelation simply means uncovering. I want to declare that the women of fire in this place undercover. We have undercover agent here. We have undercover Gideon, undercover Joshua, undercover Moses, people who are supposed to do greater things, but you are undercover. Why? Why? Why so long? Why so long? We are tired. We want to know you. We want to know the real you. We want to know who you are. Hallelujah. Don't show me your ID. I don't care about your ID. I care about what is in your spirit. You are a spirit. Your journey did not start the day you were, you, you were born. That day you are given a birth date and a, a name. I am talking about the one who comes from eternity. Amen. The one who comes from eternity. The, the one who comes from heaven. Amen. The one of which God said, before you were in your mother's womb, I knew. I knew you. I knew you. And that word knew is the same that said Adam knew Eve. That means there was a seed that was transferred in Eve. Now, God is trying to say this. Before you were born, before you were in your mother's womb, there is a seed that God himself removed from his loin and he put it in there. I'm not talking about the seed of your father. I am talking about the divine seed. Divine seed. And God knows it. It's not about your age. Don't tell me I'm young. God is looking at you and he's saying, I know what I've put in you, Amen. what I've invested. Don't Amen. tell me you cannot speak. Don't, don't tell me you are poor. God knows what is in you. Amen. Amen. And that is what we are looking for. Amen. That is what the creation is longing for. Amen. Stop making us suffering. Stop making us suffer. Stop making us suffer. Mm. That identity must manifest. Mm. Brother, come. I feel like I need to shake someone. Mm. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. Mm. But I want mm. the, that divine nature of God in you. That's what we want. Mm. We want it out. Release it in Jesus' name. Amen. Release it in Jesus' name. Amen. We don't 
need you. We want the real you. Amen. Don't tell me my name is Gideon and I went to Jomo Kenyatta University of mm. Agriculture and Technology. Mm. Who told you you are an agriculturist? Yes. God said you are a mighty warrior. Amen. It's not about your degree. Mm. It's not about your profession. Mm. It's not about your skills. Mm. It's not about what people say about you. Mm. Who told you you are the least? Mm. Who told you your family is the least? Mm. But what is it that God is saying about you? Mm. That's what we want. Mm. That's what we want. That's what we are looking for. 